Okay, so I weave in my ends. It wasn't easy, <laughs> but I did it. And I hope you were able to do it too. Um, so we're gonna start with the next part. So, um, so we're gonna join our edging, we wanna call it edging, to our pickles and our chains from our flowers. So, um, so let's look at this pattern real quick. So we have three rings, three rings here by themselves. And then we have three rings in our cluster. I'm gonna call it a cluster. Okay, and then three rings again, and then a cluster. So it's gonna take a minute. To finish this snowflake but I will do two of them two corners with you and then you can go ahead and do it by yourself after that and then I'll meet you at the last one which is pretty pretty easy it's not it's not that that bad so I'm threading my needle and for this I think you can leave a toil a, a tail of 12 to 18 inches, you know, um, it goes, you know, as you can tell, we left, what, six inches, and we had a bunch of leftovers, so, I always bet, I always say better to have more than less, so, you can leave a tail of 20 inches if you want. Okay, so, we're gonna start with one of the rings from the inside so we're gonna start with the ring before the ring before the cluster okay so uh, our rings are basically the, the same as the rings in our flower okay or center so we're gonna do two double stitches I'm cold, so I'm shaky. <laughs> uh, pico, two double stitches, and then pico, we're gonna make five picos with two double stitches in between. So, pico, two stitches, pico, two stitches, that's one, two, three, four, one more pico and two stitches okay so that's our first ring that we're gonna start with now let's close the ring okay and then we're gonna do a chain right so there's a little ring so reverse your work, do a knot, and our chains are very easy, very quick and easy. It's just eight double stitches. So eight double stitches without picos. You can do picos if you want, but I'm just gonna follow this pattern. So that's two. Eight. Okay, so eight double stitches. I'm gonna move this thing is making noise. Okay, so that's our chain. Eight double stitches. Go ahead and finish it up. Nice and easy. Well, not that easy, I guess. <laughs> got, got stuck. Okay, there we go. So eight double stitches. Okay, so we're gonna reverse our work. 
if you can't, no, you can do it. And make a little knot. I know it's kind of hard because it's, it's hard to grab, but you can do it. Okay, let me see what I did. Okay, so. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so. There we go. It's flipping, flipping, but we got it. Okay. So your 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 knots, the little little knots that you get on the on the when you do double stitches. So you see those little knots right there. That should be like that. Okay. That should be on the outside of your chain. I don't know if it makes any sense. So when you do the other one, that's gonna be on the outside. Okay, so another ring, and now we're gonna do our rings in our cluster, okay? So our first one is gonna be, let me look at my notes, okay? Let me see, okay. Two double stitches, just like the previous one. Pico, two double stitches, and okay, so we are going to skip the first one like last time, and we're going to join to the second one, just like that, okay, so we need five double stitches. I mean five picots so we got one and then the one that we join is two so two double stitches pico two double stitches so one two three this is our four pico, two double stitches, fifth pico, two double stitches. Okay, so this is what we have so far. One pico, join the second pico, and then three at the end. Okay, so let's close our ring. And I actually left my chain kind of loose. So, I don't know why, but it just was kind of loose. There we go. Okay, so we are not reversing our work because we're doing this cluster. So for these three rings, we're not reversing our work because we don't really need a chain there so just make a knot at the top so remember for your three rings and your cluster you don't reverse your work so third ring two double stitches okay three double stitches two double stitches And then join. Okay, we're gonna join to the first pico. Oh, I missed it. Like I said, if you're having problems with it, like I am, get another needle, um, get a little hook, and you can join your. Uh, with your picos. Now, we're gonna make this part right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one over here is eight picos. So we're gonna do, we're gonna separate them by two double stitches, okay? So we need eight. Okay, so here we go. Two double stitches, 
we always separating separating our picots with double, two double stitches. Okay, so here goes one. We need eight picots. Two double stitches. Pico. Two double stitches. Pico. Two double stitches. Pico. Two double stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, four more to go. Pico, two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more pico, and two double stitches. Okay, so I bend in my needle a lot. <laughs> okay, so close your ring. We got your needle if you can pull it through. Let's see. Okay, closing the ring. We have all those beautiful picots on there. And make a knot, don't reverse your work. And we're gonna do another ring, just like the first one from our cluster. So two double stitches. And then join to the first, uh, to the pico right there on our previous ring, the closest one to us. And two double stitches. This is a very easy pattern if you take your time. And we need four more picos, so. Two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, one, two, one more pico, and two double stitches. So, like I said, it's very easy, uh, very easy. You just had to take your time. My needle is so crooked. I can. Okay, so here's what we have so far with my crooked nail. I mean needle. <laughs> okay. Let's close that ring. Nice and slow. Take your time. Take it my time too. Okay. So here it is. Okay, so here's what we have, this part right here, right there, see, we're making progress, okay, so, reverse your work for this one, and make a little knot, and make a chain of eight double stitches. Um, okay, finishing up the chain. Nice and slow, so we don't get these knots that I'm getting. Sometimes that happens. So little, the thread is so small. Okay, so reverse your work. Making sure it's nice and secure. Um, you don't want the stitches too loose or too, too tight. 
but see like this one i i kind of messed up on this one you can't really tell if you're if you are an expert you will be able to tell if you're giving this as gifts they're not gonna be able to tell so i can tell that i made a mistake here on my chain it's just not looking the right way you know but anyways okay let's do one more ring the same two double stitches pico two double stitches and we get more, more yarn thread uh, now we're gonna join to our second second pico on our previous ring so not this one this one okay so join to that one okay now we need four picos two double stitches okay i'm sorry if i got cut off um my memory on my car got full so i had to um empty it before i continue so um we're doing a ring we did two double stitches pico two double stitches and we joined and now we did two double stitches okay so we need a total of five five picots in this ring so we have two so far we're counting the join as one picot okay so one picot two double stitches one picot two double stitches uh, one picot and two double stitches Okay, so we have five. Okay, so close your ring. Okay, and reverse your work. And we're gonna do another chain of a double stitches. Very easy chain. Eight. So I'll finish up your chain. Reverse your work. And that's what we have so far. Okay, so we have our cluster and we have one ring and we need three rings in between our clusters. So we had two more to go. So one more ring, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, and we're gonna join to our second pico. Not our first pico, our second one, okay? Take your time. There we 
we go. So we need three more picos. So two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches. Pico, and two double stitches. So one pico join and three more, three picos. Okay, let's close our ring. Reverse our work. Okay. So, for this ring, we're going to do something different. Usually, um, okay, so there's two ways you can do this. You can grab your flower that we did earlier and you can join this one looks better join to the middle pico of right here so let me show you so we have in each petal we have five picos we're gonna join to the middle to the middle pico to this one okay so you had two on this side and two on this side. So to this one right here. Okay. So there's two ways you can do this. You can grab your flower. And join now. To your. Let me do this, try this. I didn't do it this way, but I want to show you, you can do it this way. So there's my two pieces, right? So I'm going to put my needle on my side, my pico, grab the thread and pull it through, right? And then from here, you start making your chain, right? Two double stitches. The way I did it, I kind of broke the rules just because it's easier. I just put my needle into the pico and then I hold my needle right underneath that ring, just like that. So let me show you again. So I just went into the pico with my needle. Let me put this one down. I just went like this, right? And then I grabbed my ring and I hold it right there so I could start doing my double stitches. So two, uh, it's going to be a chain, so it's a double stitches. So you can do it either way. But to me, this is easier. So one... So eight, right? And then you finish up your your chain. tangle there. Come on. Okay. Nice and slow. It's really twisting on me. There we go. Okay, so see that? Now we we join our 
flower to our edging. Get it closer. So you see how it's going to be in between the chains right underneath the ring. So we want that look. Let me show you on that. On that actual snowflake that my friend gave me. So you see how it's right between these two chains underneath that ring. I like that look. Right? Okay, so reverse your work. Okay, now I'm let me see how I'm gonna reverse my work. Actually, it's like this. Okay. Right? Because you always join to the left. So when we reverse our work now, our work is on our left. Just like that. So like I said, you can do it. You can do it the way I did it, or you can, you know, join like a regular uh, join. But I like it this way better. Okay, so now we need one more ring before I plaster. So two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches, and sorry, I keep um, have really bad allergies, but um, we're gonna join to the second pico, not to the first one. Here's our first one, second pico. Two double stitches, and we need about three more picos. If I can get it done, <laughs> okay. One pico, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, and two double stitches. Okay. So let's close our ring. There we go. Let me find my loop so it's not twisted. So let me see, let me show you what we have so far. It's not showing you, let me move my camera. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, so we made one connection. So we're gonna need, we need six. Six clusters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six clusters. So we made one. So I'm gonna make one more cluster with you. And it's the same repetition, okay? So don't, it's the same thing over and over again. We need three rings on our cluster. So it's one, two, three rings right here. And then we need three rings in between the clusters, okay? So if you look at it like this, so you have three rings, chain, 
ring, chain, ring, chain, ring. Three in between and then another cluster. And you join with this one. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Like I said, it just keeps repeating over and over. So, so now we have our three rings in our cluster. And then we made our three rings in between the clusters. So now we're going to do our next cluster. Okay. So we need a chain. So reverse your work. And a double stitches. Okay, finishing up your chain. I think it's really stuck but as long as you hold your stitches like I'm doing you can pull the needle and it won't it won't do nothing bad to your stitches so you pinch those stitches okay okay reverse your work Okay, now we're gonna start the first ring in our cluster. Same thing, two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches. Get more thread. Okay, so we're gonna join to our second pico from our previous ring just like that and two double stitches and we need three more picos your ring with my crooked needle <laughs> so crooked <laughs> okay and we're not gonna reverse our work remember on our cluster we're not gonna reverse our work now we're gonna do the big the big uh, ring Okay, so for this one, we're joining at the first pico, which I made it kind of big, but oh well, it'll be fine. So we're going to make a total of, I believe it's nine, nine picos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, nine picos with the first one joining. So two double stitches. And then we're going to join my camera is running out of time, out of memory. Okay, so we join, we did two double stitches join because this is the first ring of our cluster. So join and then two double stitches. Pico to double stitches, and we need five picos. So, two double stitches with two double stitches in between. So, it's our four one, two double stitches. 
¿sí? Ok. So, five picos. One, two, three, four, five. So, close your ring. And remember, this is our cluster, so we don't reverse our work. Just like this. Do a knot. And my crooked uh, needle. And we're going to do the big ring. So, two double stitches. One, two, and then we're going to join. And then eight more picos, okay, divided with two double stitches in between. So, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico. Two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, so one, two, three, four, five, six picos, two double stitches, seven, Double stitches, one more, two double stitches. Okay, so close your ring. Oop, don't reverse your work. And we're gonna do one more ring together of this cluster and then you should be able to continue by yourself, okay? So do a little knot. And like I said, it's all repetition. It's all repetition. And I will meet you when we're almost done. So let's start the last ring of our cluster. Two double stitches. And then join. Right with the first, the closest pico, and two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, so that one. Two, three, four, one more pico. Don't worry about your picos not being perfect. You can also you can always fix them at the end. Just give them a, a, a little pull and so close your ring. Okay. Oh. My work is turning around. Turn around. Okay, I did something wrong. Let me take this out. It's not closing right. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Okay, I just lost my my thread. Okay. So then now you're going to reverse your work because we're going to do a chain, right? We got to change next. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we have. We got to our second cluster. Okay. Okay, so... We said we were going to do another chain. So 
eight double stitches. So my son has some friends over, so they're in the backyard playing, so you might hear them on the audio. So go ahead and finish up your chain of eight double stitches and reverse your work. Okay. So what we're gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two more rings with you so you can see how I'm gonna join again to that one and then after that you can continue um and then I, I'll meet you when we're in that six uh cluster because I can't videotape all that that would take very long it's already a long tutorial but I think it's worth it. I think this is very pretty so let's do another ring of two double stitches and pico and two double stitches and we're gonna join to our second pico okay And we need three more picos, so two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches. So five, go ahead and close your ring. There you go. Reverse your work. Let's do one chain, eight double stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, so go ahead and finish your chain. Okay. Okay. Just like that. Reverse your work. And this is the ring where we're going to join to our center. So. Okay, so let's start our ring, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, um, join to our second pico, And we need three more double stitch. I mean, um, picos. So two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, and one more pico and two double stitches. Okay. So this is gonna be the ring before we join to the other one to the center okay so reverse your work make a little knot just like that and 
let's see let's put down our work just like that just like that okay so this is what we have and now we're gonna have to join our chain to this one right here okay so remember what I said you can do it either way you can join right now like you usually join but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go like this I'm just gonna pass my needle and that so let me see can't see those pickles that good so I'm just gonna pull them up a little bit just define them a little bit and then I'm gonna go in the middle pickle just like that and then I'm gonna start my chain so I'm gonna pull these two together like this and then I'm gonna move it to the side okay two double stitches make sure it goes all the way to the bottom one two actually a sorry three four five six seven eight okay and then finish up that chain nice and slow just like that reverse your work of course and just lost my thread okay there we go okay so see that that's what we have so far so we have made one a join a second cluster and we join so you're gonna continue doing that until you have six clusters and then I will come back and kind of show you how you connect it so continue tatting and we'll, I'll see you in a little bit okay so I'm back I did my last cluster and we're about to finish up this snowflake I know it's a long tutorial but it's all worth it I just think this is so beautiful you can give it as gifts or you can make a bunch of them and those can be your decorations for your Christmas gifts um, so here we go so now we need to do two more rings and some chains like I don't know like two one more chain I think two more chains and we need to join to our last petal in our flower right so let me grab my needle and let me do a chain and you should have that pattern down you know after doing all those uh, clusters and all that edging uh, should be pretty easy see four five six eight and we're doing good on our tail seems like we're gonna have enough tail which makes me happy reverse your work make sure your stitches on your chain are nice and tight not too tight though there you go okay so now a ring two double stitches pico two double stitches and join Ok, 
Okay, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches. It's not a very big pico. So one, two, three picos. This is my four pico, two double stitches. One more pico, two double stitches. Just like that. And close the ring. And re to reverse your work. I was going to say return your work. <laughs> Okay, and a double stitches for our chain. Almost there. This thing, you know, and I, I, I always use that thicker thread um, but this is kind of beautiful the way it looks so delicate so detail kind of like it mm, I don't think my needle likes it that much because <laughs> it's all look at it, it's all crooked <laughs> but it's working okay so we're doing our last ring so let me grab it the right way Two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, and let's join to this ring right here. Now I just realized we're gonna have to join twice on this one because it's the last ring, so we want it to be connected, okay? So bear with me. Okay, so um, two double stitches. And one, two, three. Wait, okay, yeah, two double stitches. And this is where we're gonna join. So one pico join, one more pico, and then this is where we're gonna join with our ring. Okay, so we gotta join here. But if we join like this, our ring is not gonna look right. So I'm gonna go like this. Okay, think. That's how I'm supposed to do it, okay? So instead of joining like this, I'm gonna fold it towards me and grab it like this. And we have three picos free. So we're gonna go join with the middle one, okay? And then you're gonna do two double stitches and one pico and two double stitches. Okay, so now we're gonna close our ring. And it should be like perfectly aligned yay you see that i love it when that happens <laughs> there's always the doubt sometimes oh am i doing it the right way <laughs> okay perfect you see that perfect now last chain a double stitches oh wait no no not the last chain. I'm sorry. We have to, um, after we close that ring, we got to join down here. 
I'm sorry. I was skipping up. I was skipping something. So. So the way we're going to do that is. Hold your work like this. Right. So like this. Down here. And it's a little tricky.